my father always wanted to do something for his family. And when he died in 1968, and he suggested that I go with my mother to Russia to see if I could conjure up some interest in leaving. And so I went in uh, 1970 uh, with my mother uh, to uh, uh, Leningrad uh, and uh, met an aunt and an uncle. Uh, the uncle was scared to death to see us on the street. He met us in the apartment with the radio turned up. Uh, uh, but I communicated with him in Yiddish by writing letters. Uh, we would communicate three, four, or five times a year. He could not write Yiddish, but he could understand Yiddish. So he would have a woman uh, who was uh, retired, who was on pension, didn't matter to her. Uh, she would write magnificent Yiddish letters, which I could read. And uh, then I would return the the letter and I'd have to call my mother for certain words uh, and uh, we communicated like that uh, uh, for the first three years and then 1973 my wife and I and our our son our oldest son who was then 13 went to uh, Scandinavia Finland and Leningrad and uh, my uncle at that time, things had loosened up and he went every place with us. And we continued this conversation and he began to realize that w what our life was like. And uh, he understood that uh, he would like out but he was still working and he was afraid that the younger uncles, he was a director of a technical institute. Not the official director but the guy that ran the place. Uh, he had to have a Russian in, uh, ahead of him. He said Jews could not be the head of anything. And we, we corresponded, uh, and in 1985, I got, we, we were sitting at a Seder at our house, and we received a call from Siberia, from Tumen in Siberia, from a 12-year-old uh, uh, speaking with a, a very English accent. Uh, and I finally figured out this must be a relative uh, asking us if we would sponsor them. And this was a first cousin uh, and his son uh, and his wife. And uh, uh, approximately a year later, they arrived. And we uh, today, uh, the young man is a vice president of a large firm in New York City, uh, uh, actually an Israeli firm. Uh, and. Uh, uh, so it's it's very interesting, and uh, the father later on, uh, his father and his sister and their whole family, and the rest of my Russian family all emigrated to Israel.